Hey everyone, today we're going to unbox something really cool. A universal camera rigging tool that's designed to be the Swiss army knife for filmmakers. This is the Film Cube. The Film Cube transforms mirrorless or DSLR cameras into cinema bodies and helps you mount anything and everything you need for your filmmaking workflow. It's got top, bottom, and side rigging, a screen protector, it works with any camera cage and quick release system, and there are many more benefits that I'll point out later in the video. Let's get started. As we open the box, the first thing we see is the main frame of the film cube. We'll set that aside. Included is a 50mm rod clamp and a large cheese plate. Finally, we have the Allen key and all the hardware that we'll need. Putting this rig together is really easy. First, we'll attach the bottom cheese plate to your camera rig or quick release plate with the quarter inch screws and Allen key provided. Yes, this works with quick release plates. Tighten the screws and finish attaching your quick release plate. Next, remove the top cover from the base plate by loosening the four screws. Then you can attach your base plate to the cheese plate. Now I can attach my camera to the quick release plate. I put on the top cover and adjust the height until the screen fits between the screen protector, and then I check to make sure everything fits properly. If it doesn't fit, I adjust the sliding screws on the base until the camera fits perfectly. Tighten down all four screws once you've found the right position. You can also install the film cube on 15mm rods. Attach the base plate onto the 15mm rod clamp providing using the quarter inch screws. Put on the top cover and slide your film cube onto the rails and place it to your desired height. If it sits perfectly, then you can tighten the 15mm rod clamp and you're all done. If not, then adjust the sliding base plate screws to the exact position you need. Slide it back on and tighten the 15mm rod clamps. To attach V-mounts, D-tap, or HDMI splitters, or anything else to the film cube, you can either take the top cover off or remove the top plate to access mounting inside. Then you can mount from the inside and mount to the side or back of the film cube. You can also cable manage with the top plate off as well. You can mount on the film cube on the top, bottom, and right side. Mounting to the top and bottom is as straightforward as it gets, as you can just mount directly to it as you would any other cheese plate. For the side and back, we will want to access it from the inside and mount things through it. To do this, you can either remove the top frame from the main base or remove the top metal plate and gain access that way. For example, if I wanted to mount a V-mount plate to the back of the film cube, I would remove the top metal plate, insert quarter inch screws, and attach directly to the V-mount plate. For the side mount, I can install through it and can even attach a small metal plate or NATO rail for an even sturdier and more convenient rig. There are lots of great features and applications for the film cube. To start off, the film cube has a universal design. The film cube works with all sorts of mirrorless and DSLR cameras, as long as the cameras have a cage and fit the maximum screen height requirement. Because it's height and width adjustable, this will work with all sorts of cages, rigs, and quick releases. One of the most exciting things about this is the quick release. As a run and gun filmmaker myself, I needed to be able to put my camera on and take it off as quickly as possible to go from full cinema rig to a nimble gimbal setup in seconds. Next is the screen protector. The film cube protects your screen with thick foam padding and top and bottom supports so you can take care of these flimsy screens. Another great feature is the easy button access. This doesn't get in the way of any of the buttons you need to use on a regular basis. Following up, we've got mounting points. We've got top, bottom, and side mounts. No other rear rigging system allows the versatility of mounting points that the film cube offers. Next up, we've got cable management. You can easily hide and stow away all your cables inside the film cube for a clean and neat workflow. Lastly is the design of the film cube. The film cube is over-engineered to be lightweight, but built like a tank. I stood on it and it didn't even break at 190 pounds or even slide down the rails. Here are some of the endless possibilities of the film cube. You can attach a DTEP splitter, a wireless receiver, HDMI splitter, NATO rails, a handle, or a metal cheese plate for even more rigidity and mounting options. You can attach a V-mount plate or a gold mount or a USB-C power brick or even a small solar panel. You can attach a cold shoe, an SSD drive, a monitor, a BTS cam, time coder, or anything else you can imagine. As cameras keep getting smaller, with less space to mount needed accessories, the film cube is a Swiss army knife and unlocks a universe of mounting options to the back of your camera rig. Since you watched the end of this video, use the code UNLOCK15 to save 15% off of your new film cube.